Hello, welcome to Fondex C Trader Web instructional videos. My name is Neofitos Kajinofidou. I am the head of sales at Fondex Cyprus. Fondex is the trade name of TopFX, registered as a Cyprus investment firm and licensed by SISEC under license 138-11. Now, keep in mind that CFDs are a complex, complex instrument and come with a high risk over 70% due to the leverage used. This video should be as an instructional video, as I said, and should not be taken as any form of investment advice. In this video, we're going to show you how to identify and search for an asset, as well as execute a trade and incorporate stop loss and take profit. So let's get started. After we register into after we log into our registered account at Fondex, we move over to the top right where the CID number is and we click on C Trader Work. I would like to let you know, by the way, that Fondex offers the desktop application as well as the mobile application. Now, after we switched over to a C Trader Web platform, we move over to the left. At the top, right below trade, you're gonna see two tabs, the watch list and all symbols. What is the difference? The watch list is a list of all the favorite instruments that Fondex traders are using. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see a tab that says create new watch list. Self-explanatory, you can create your own list with your own favorite assets to trade. Now, if we move and we click on all symbols, you're going to get a list of all the symbols, instruments that Fondex offers. And as you can see, they are divided into subcategories, which would make it easier for you to identify your favorite asset to trade. Now, let's say I'm interested in trading currencies. I click on Forex and I get all the currencies. If I'm interested in trading, let's say, gold, I click on metals, so on and so forth. Also, you might have noticed that there is a tab for search, meaning that if you don't know or you're not sure of the acronym or the symbol, you can just simply type and you get the respected <clears throat> results. So, for example, let's say I'm interested in trading Amazon shares. All I have to do is just type, and as you can see, the results appear. The same thing can be done with any asset if, let's say, I would like to trade oil. Again, I type oil, and here we go. Here are the results. So, now that we know, we have an idea how to identify the asset we're interested, First, we need to highlight it and click on it. What would that do would actually change it, the movement on the chart. So you would know the actual movement. So, like I said, after we decide and we choose the favorite asset to trade, we move over to the right. We click under new order. Then we need to decide, and like I said, the decision is yours, either to buy or sell. After we make the decision, then we need to decide the size of the contract, the size of the lot. Now, a very interesting, unique feature that C Trader, Fondex C Trader web application has is that after or during the decision making to, for the size of the lot, in this case, let's say, let's assume that I want to trade a full size lot or even half a size lot, a new window pops up, as you can see, and we get all the information regarding the cost of the trade. So in this case, we get to see the pip value, the trade value for buy, the trade value for sell, the commission required, the margin required, and the margin available. Why is this a useful and unique? Because we know beforehand what's the cost, like I said, and if needed, either to top up the account or if I'm interested to open more than one trade. So let's say, in this case, I would choose 0 0.8. Now, after I decided the size of the lot, all I have to do is just click on place order. Now, before I place order, okay, if I want to, that's your decision, I can incorporate take profit and stop loss. What is take profit? What is stop loss? Quite simply, take profit, if we click on it, we get to establish incorporate input however the term is that you want to use, when the trade would stop and I collect the profit. Instead of leaving the profit running, I have this option. And like I said, 
once we decide to use take profit by clicking on it, we need to decide the pip value that we would like our trade to start. By using the arrows up or down, I would enter the desired pip value. In this case, I'm just going to do, this is mean, like I said, 15.1. Now, the same exact uh, action can be incorporated reverse with a stop loss. What is stop loss? Again, it's a command. We set up a command, an instruction for the trade to stop if the trade goes against us. And this way we get to minimize our losses. So again, I click stop loss. Again, using the arrows, I decide how much I'm willing to lose this time. Okay. As I just, as you can see, I just put down random number. And again, I get the same information that I got from uh, take profit. In other words, the PIP, the established price, the established balance, and the established loss, the estimated loss. And then the only thing left to do is just click place order. As you can see, your window appears notifying me that the order was placed. And if we look into the middle of the chart, we get again the same information that I incorporated here to the right, the take profit, the enterprise, and the stop loss. Also, the same information can be viewed right below if I click on positions. And as you can see, positions one, again, created when, the date and time, the symbol used, the quantity, that is the size of the lot, the direction, the entry price, the take profit, stop loss, and last but not least, if I'm in profit or if I'm in loss. Now, quite simply, as you can see, if it's in red, we're in loss, if it goes green, we're in profit. Now, keep in mind that at any given time, whether you're in profit or you're in loss, you can manually close the trade by clicking on X. And basically, this is it. Now, feel free to leave a comment or ask a question below. More videos would follow regarding the operation, instructional videos regarding the operation of C Trader Platform. Thank you for your time. Wishing you a good day. Bye bye.